So in this video, I wanna walk you through how to go live on YouTube using Zoom. So are you ready? Hey Go-Getter, it's Salma Jaffrey from SalmaJaffrey.com and you are in the right place if you want to grow your personal brand with video. If you love the videos that I create and you want to share the love, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and also hit the bell icon so you get notified of new videos. And now let's begin. Going live on your YouTube channel is one of the best things you can do to grow your YouTube channel. Every single time I go live, it increases views, watch time and subscribers. You might be wondering what is the best way to go live on YouTube? Well, there are lots and lots of software out there and I did a tutorial on how to use OBS, but OBS was very system heavy and resource heavy because all of the processing was done on my little, little MacBook Air here. And it's really hard for this laptop to handle that much processing power. So I wanted to have another option to be able to go live with, and I found out I could go live with Zoom, which was a much more, uh, first of all, it was less resource heavy, and then it had just a better quality, like a video quality. And if you are already using Zoom, if you are a coach or a consultant, and you already use Zoom to do coaching calls, or you do Zoom to um, do video conferencing or attend online meetings or do interviews, anything like that, then you are probably already familiar with the software. So you can just add the live component to it really, really easily. Now I will say at the outset that I am using the paid version of Zoom. It is, um, even though it's paid, it's super affordable. It's $15 a month for the pro license and it just gives you a ton of functionality. So if you can make that tiny little investment, I would encourage you to do so because the result is that you can go live and you can have a really, really good professional quality output without any uh, heavy resource use if your computer or your laptop is old or you feel that it doesn't have enough space or RAM and you want something that's cloud-based, then Zoom is the right option for you to go live. So I'm gonna open up the laptop and walk you through the process. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go to zoom.us and you wanna sign in with your account and then we're gonna go into your account preferences. All right, once you're signed in, you wanna to go to settings from the left menu and you wanna scroll all the way down until you see the live streaming option. And here we go. So it says allow live streaming meetings. And if you wanna live stream to Facebook, you wanna click this. If you want YouTube, you wanna click this. I've clicked all four so I can go live on custom streaming service, YouTube, Workplace by Facebook, as well as Facebook. So all of these options are now available to you if you are on the pro plan. Okay, the next thing you wanna do is actually fire up uh, Zoom from here. And the easiest way would be to just um, start a meeting. So you can click on new meeting and there I am. <laughs> Let me just switch this here a little bit. Okay. And then next thing you want to do is you want to go into this more button and then you can choose live on Facebook or live on YouTube or live on custom streaming service. Okay. So if you do live on YouTube, this will take you live on YouTube right away. So if you have something that you want to um, do in the moment, then this is the option to choose. However, most of my live streams on YouTube are pre-planned. So I choose live on custom live streaming service, which is what you wanna do when you want to manage in a scheduled stream. So let me show you how to do that. So you wanna move away from here and go into YouTube. And inside a YouTube, you wanna go into your YouTube studio. So you go inside this. And then once you are inside YouTube studio, you wanna go and click on the live streaming option from the left here. Sorry, they just changed that, so it's here now. I'm still used to Creator Studio, so. <laughs> okay, so you wanna click here where it says go live. And if I wanted to go live right now with my um, you know, Zoom, I would just click stream now, right? But that's not what I wanna do. I wanna actually go to manage and I want to, let's say, schedule a stream. So if I want to go live, let's say on this one, so I'm gonna click here. Okay, so you can um, fill out all the information about your stream. You can fill out the title. You can fill out the description. You can um, fill out when you intend to go live, the time, um, the thumbnail, all of this stuff, right? And then I'm gonna X out of here. 
And once you're in here, what you want to do is select your stream key. So there are a couple of options here and I've chosen 720. Um, so you can basically create a new stream key or use auto generated key. So I used auto generated key and then I wanted to go with 720p because that would also, uh, that's like a good enough resolution to go live with. And it's also not too system heavy. The other thing that you want to do is you want to, uh, unhide this stream key and then copy it okay and I'm going to tell you where to paste that in so we're going to come out of here and we're going to go back into zoom so here we are inside zoom and we're going to go into more and we're going to go into live on custom live streaming service right here and as soon as I click that it wants me to enter the streaming key so I'm going to actually enter the streaming key here this is not the actual streaming key, okay? Because I didn't actually copy it from there, but that's what you're gonna do, right? And then in the URL, you're gonna go back here and take this stream URL that you see right here, okay? And you're going to copy, copy that, and you're gonna put that in here, okay? And then for the live streaming page URL, you're gonna go back into your stream here and see this button right here where it says share? It's gonna actually click this and this is the link that you want to share so you want to copy this and then go back into broadcast meeting and say that this is the actual page you'll be going live on because everyone who uses this link can watch the live broadcast and then this is the link that you're going to be able to share whether you're sending your live broadcast out on email or on social media for people to come and join so this is the live streaming page url that you want to actually share and then you're going to click on go live Wait, let me just make sure it's private because I don't actually want to go live just yet. I'm going to go into edit and um, make sure that this is actually a private test. <laughs> because I don't want to go live on YouTube just right now. So you're going to, so I'm going to go and click on private. Okay, and now it's private. I'm going to X out of there. Okay, and so from here, I'm actually going to say go live and then I'm going to be able to see a preview. So let's go live here. It's going to say preparing to live stream the meeting. And then here, I'll be able to see a preview if it's all set up correctly, which it should be. There we go. So it's live right now. So from here, you can actually just manage your live stream and there's about a 20 second delay to when you actually see yourself live. So you can make sure that you actually start talking at that, at that point. Now, if you want to share your screen when you go live, so you go back to Zoom and you just click this little button here that says share screen and you can share whatever screen you need to in this. So for example, if I wanted to, let me just open up a Google Chrome screen here. So I can just share that. And then I can also see on YouTube that I'm actually live. So this is the live link. So thankfully this is unlisted and I can delete this later after this test is over, but you can see that. And then um, going back to show you how to share the screen. So let me actually open up a presentation so I can do this properly and show you how you can present something from your um, computer. And you can show that. So this is a live stream that I did recently. I'm just going to, or a, rather a presentation that I did recently. And I just want to open that up. Okay. So here it is. And then I'm going to go back into Zoom and I'm going to click share. And then I want to share this keynote. So I'm going to click this. And now it's going to share it. And I love the way how it shares it. So I'm still there on the side. So you can still see me in the live stream and I can, you know, uh, close this if you don't want to. But I like the fact that people can see you as well as your slides while you're live streaming. So that's something that I really, really like. And one of, um, one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to make this switch is because every time I used OBS, I would have a audio video sync issue where my video was like my mouth was moving and then the audio was not synced to that. 
and I have never faced an, uh, an issue like this using Zoom. So I'm really, really happy about that. And that is really the biggest reason why I wanted to switch apart from the ease of use, the fact that the resources are not system heavy. They're not on my computer. They're all in the cloud. So everything is being recorded in the cloud. The Zoom um, video is being recorded on the Zoom cloud. And then the live stream is being um, recorded on YouTube. And you can watch that here as well you know, if you're live. Okay, so when you want to end your live stream, you simply go into Zoom over here. And from here, you want to click stop live stream. So this is gonna stop the live stream. And then you want to also make sure that YouTube has stopped the live stream. So you wanna make sure that, yeah, there it is. So it says end stream and you absolutely wanna click this as well because like I said, once I forgot to click this and the stream just went on even though I wasn't live streaming. So you wanna click end, screen, end stream. Are you sure you want to end the stream? So I know it's not as intuitive as it should be, um, but that's how you want to live stream. I'm just gonna close everything off from here. And this, and this, and this meeting. So my question for you today is how often do you either go live on YouTube or that you want to go live on YouTube? Let me know in the comments below. So I hope you saw how easy it was to go live with Zoom. No worry about system resources or lag or audio sync issues. Super simple to use and you can share your presentation and screen and deliver valuable trainings online, whether you're going live or whether it's just to a webinar or a meeting place that you are hosting your live presentations on. So either way, it works really, really well. Remember to go after what you want and build a brand you love because you can be the media. Music